Dude, wait, did you guys know that Bass Pro Shops made jigs? Yeah. Like, I'm being 100% honest, I had no clue that they had jigs. Oh, I think we got one, guys. Oh, oh snap. Ooh, we got him, we got him. <laughs> Well, this is interesting. We're waiting in line for Santa, guys, because I really need a bass boat, really bad. <laughs> I want fishing lures for Christmas, maybe a bass boat? Oh yes, we make bass boats about this big. That, I was thinking about one like 19. Oh, the remote foot. control. Yes, Oh, yes. the little one about this big. I mean, that works. We make toys. <laughs> <laughs> How was that? I don't know if he's gonna give me a bass boat, man. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Cast on the dock right there. Wait, hold on, homie. I, I got. Whoa! I put oh, the, I'm driving. Oh, you're driving, guys. We found a fishing <laughs> video game inside of Bass Pro Man, Shops. I'll put the trim up, bro. Dude, look at that thing. We That's need to be going at least. Where, how do I lift my jack plate? Oh, I'm about to hit him, bro. Oh, oh, oh! oh don't no, oh, don't, don't. Wait, wait, wait. Oh! oh we hey, said, Hayes, how how is it going? Hey, watch it. He's getting mad, bro. Look. <laughs> Hey, watch hey, it. Watch it. You're <laughs> spinning circles around him. <laughs> I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> you gotta find yourself a juicy spot, bro. <laughs> <laughs> never letting Adam That's drive. why he's never allowed to drive. <laughs> Go hit that guy, dude. Yeah. Right on, bro. Right on. <laughs> Adam, <laughs> bro. The, look at him. He's still standing Ooh, up. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good. Is Santa look at him? It's not Santa. It is. He's bald. He needs a big <laughs> belly. He needs more cookies. All right, boys. Adam, get out. Adam, what are you? Okay, we. We're going all right, we <laughs> can't even. We just need to focus here. We have a mission. Our mission is look at all these Bass Pro lures, choose out our favorites, the ones that we think are going to do the best, and we're going to go fishing with them. So here is the Bass Pro Cinco's. They actually call them the Stickos. I used to use these all the times like the one lure I use I like these more than any other Cinco on the market and that's like a bold claim like any of the other Cinco's on the market these things are like super dense and they have an awesome wobble action I you can cast these things a mile so I'm definitely gonna get a thing of stickers 619 we got ourselves a pack June bug June bug stickers we're gonna toss them in ah. Bass Pro Shops bag right here do they make jigs do, wait did you guys know that bass pro shops made jigs no. like i'm being 100 percent honest i had no clue that they had jigs should we try one tungsten finesse jig dude these are all tungsten holy cow dude these are tungsten why is it that cheap all right this is what we going with three eighth uh -huh. ounce some green pumpkin on it it's got some brown down the middle a little bit of yellow on top Just a little sprinkle dude that's a tungsten jig too tungsten, like you were bro. saying bro for only 349 guys, I mean, that's a pretty good deal for a tungsten okay, jig. well wait, do we need to get Bass Pro Shops trailers for it? Yes, we do. Yes, sir. That's next. All right, next. All right, so they make so much Bass Pro Shop stuff. Like, it's actually crazy. I was actually just walking by. I saw these single tail grubs. I actually love to throw these. I especially like the white color of pearl. And yeah. uh, they've got all kinds of different stuff. Right here, they've got some, these are actually little swim baits. These are chunks, which could work for our jig. We might have to get that. We've also got some different style chunks right here. Here's some crawl type lures. I mean, they've got they've got so much stuff. It's crazy. All different colors. Whatever you can think of, they've probably got it. All right, we're going to the hard bait section right now. I think we're going to look at a couple lipless crankbaits, some stuff like that. Hopefully, get on some of these fish. We're going to be targeting with some sort of shad hard bait presentation. Dude, wait, is all of this Bass Pro Two guys? The XPS brand is this whole what entire up, wall. Bro? What is that? What did you find? What did you find? Boy, thick man, look at that. Boy. That is a <laughs> thick boy. Dude, look at this. They actually have square bills. They have jerk baits. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Dude. Uh -oh. oh, dude, I was looking at that one, bro. We got one option. <laughs> we, got one. we got one option left. Yo, I had no clue that they made lipless crankbaits. Yeah. Look at the oh. Look at that color, bro. Look at that lipless crankbait right there. That's, dude, that's a hundred percent guarantee. You already threw it in the cart. That's crazy, guys. They have so many lipless crankbaits here, and I'm telling you, Noah. Like at my Bass Pro Shops, they have none of this. Really? Which this is all blowing is my mind. Small? Like, I, yeah, I've never seen any of these. Like, I had no clue. I thought they made like Cinco's and like a couple other types of lures. So we did go ahead and see this popper tube that they've got here, but Bass Pro Shops makes a ton of different other ones. They've got some. Some weird poppers. That's a really small one. I don't even know. I've never seen that before. They've got some other ones right here, more normal. They've got walking baits. 
they've got literally everything. That is I think so they've crazy. Even got some frogs and stuff like that. So, but <laughs> we're gonna definitely go ahead use this bad boy. This feels so crazy, so, man. We yeah, have it's to. It's so crazy, and it has to work. I mean, yeah. it just looks like it's gonna work. So we're gonna throw this bad boy. I don't think we're gonna be fishing with uh, too many square bills today, folks. But I just wanted to show you guys that they literally have crankbaits, square bills. They have a Bass Pro Shops brand kit bro of hard beats we just found that that might have to be another video folks make sure you guys like and let us know if, if you want to see the three of us maybe fish with that sometime but the lures in here are crazy jerk baits as well everything there's one more thing i want to see guys if they have frogs because the frog could be fun they do and i just want to see they do have frogs dude why is my bass pro so lame check these out they what is that the soft plastic frogs too they call these the hump and toad the like humping the toad? Yeah, I saw that last time I came in here. I was like, because you know how Zoom's the horny toad? Yeah. And I saw humping toad. I was like, wow. But these would actually probably work really good. Yeah. Humping toad or horny toad? Comment <laughs> down below which team you're on. So here's all the Bass Pro Shops hollow body frog guys. I mean, they have so many different cool colors. This white and red one right here. All the green. I like popping frogs. Behind you, bro. Look at this. Those popping are the smallest like swim baits I've ever seen. Dude. Fishing with the small swim baits, but that's not today's video, but we do have normal swim baits I think that'll work great because it is fall time fish are chasing up on Chad What's better to throw than a speed already, shad already, from Bass Pro exactly Shops? what I'm picking, bro. Can I pick it? Yeah, pick it. And, and like guarantee we're using Guarantee? It, the color's too saucy. Oh, that is saucy. That's yeah. good. That's it. You guys can agree on that one, can't you? Yep, I agree. That's the Put color, it in. Put it's it in, in the basket. That's the color, bro. That's what touched me on that one. That was killer. Bam! All right, so we're going to the pond now, guys. We yeah. have to leave because Bass Pro Shops literally has every single lure. Nothing like Walmart. I mean, Walmart has a few Walmart yeah, brand lures. Bit. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Academy, Dick Sporting Goods has like a few, but they don't make everything. Bass Pro Shops makes everything. I was not expecting that. So this was cool, man. I had a good time looking around, but now we're going to go catch some fish on these Bass Pro Shop brand lures. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go. Okay, folks, we are here at the pond, actually back in Florida now with our Bass Pro lures, even though they're in a Walmart bag. I know that doesn't make any sense, but we're going to try getting on them today at one of my good old local ponds here. And yeah, that water is super, super lower. We haven't been getting a lot of rain recently, so uh, I don't know how this is going to go. What are we going to throw first is the real question. Uh, well, I guess this It's the first thing I pulled out. These are the floating worms right here. This might work pretty good, actually. We got some overcast weather today. Well, guys, we are rigging up our little floating worm on a Texas rig here. Just a weightless Texas rig. Got it on the old spinning combo. That way I can cast it further. And uh, yeah, we're going to see how this goes, I guess. Oh my gosh, there's a fish right there. Floating worm in this cold weather might not be the, uh, the best, but I mean, heck, it does look pretty good. Uh, floats exactly on top of the water. For some reason, I thought even though it was called a floating worm, it would sink. And hello, pupper. Hey, buddy. How are you? You want to watch me catch some fish? Come on, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> we're moving spots here with me and the fishing pup. And uh, we're just going to walk over this way. And I think that this first lure, this floating worm, is going to prove harder than I thought just because it's so cold outside. So what I'm going to do with this floating worm here, I don't think it's going to work on the top just because it's super cold today. But what we're going to do is actually tie it on a weighted Texas rig instead and uh, see how that action looks in the water. I think it should work pretty good, honestly, because this tail does float. So maybe it'll stand up straight in the water. Oh, I think we got one, guys. Oh, oh, snap on the floating worm. Let's go. There he is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at the mouth on this fish, guys. <laughs> Here, he's got a ton of crap all over him. That's what we're dragging this worm through. Yeah, they definitely want it slower today, guys. Look how skinny that guy is. Poor little dude, but yeah, I mean, I was dragging that worm so freaking slow we tried it on top wasn't working drag it on the bottom in the middle out here and uh, we get that one gosh this is a big mouth on that fish only if he was fat he could have been like a three pounder or something but he's probably only a pound and a half two pounds maybe see you buddy i was working this thing just super slow on the bottom guys i mean just barely dragging it basically not even working it just letting it sink and sit there and uh, that's how that last one kind of bit it, but he bit it kind of close in after I worked it for a very, very long time. All right, so I'm gonna try this Bass Pro Shops rattle trap here. I don't think I've ever tried one of these before on the Bass Pro brand. It's pretty loud. That, this might honestly be a really good rattle trap. All right, we're gonna try giving this rattle trap a toss around here. This rattle trap is just so heavy. I don't know how it's gonna work. We'll see though. Ooh, we got him, we got him. <laughs> there we go, guys, on the rattle trap. Please stay on. Oh, he's going to, he's going into the wood. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. We don't want you in there. <laughs> yes, there we go, guys. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, what were you thinking trying to eat that? The rattle trap's almost half as big as you, bro. Well, there we have it. Bass Pro Shops rattle trap. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm about Phil. See you, buddy. That was pretty quick on that Bass Pro rattle trap. I want to try throwing a few more casts at this thing, but I really do like just love the paint job on this. I think the only thing that's the matter with these Bass Pro rattle traps is the hooks that they put on them aren't the highest quality. So I would definitely change these out if I wasn't doing a Bass Pro Shops challenge here. Okay, so I'm going to tie off this pink worm, tie something a little bit more normal. And that would be these uh, Bass Pro Shops Dr. Finicky's right here. So this is basically like a Cinco, I guess, kind of, but it's more or less like a drop shot weight. It's a little bit more finesse, which will be perfect for the water temp that we got right now and just how cold it is. This will probably get the job done a little bit easier than that uh, pink worm. That was still a lot of fun though. All right, first cast, let's go. Get it on out there. Fishing some deep water here in the pond, guys. And uh, how we're working it, just how I worked the last one, is I let it sink all the way to the bottom first. Once it hits the bottom, I just kind of barely like wiggle it and move it just like that. And I just let it sit for like five seconds. And then I do the same thing over and over and over again. Just working these things painfully slow because those bass really don't want to move this time of year. Ooh, oh, the wind's taking my bait. I thought it was a fish. Oh, oh my gosh. First cast on it. Not even kid. Oh, he came off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys see that i wasn't even expecting it you can barely feel the bites i mean they just hit it so freaking soft that i thought i was popping it off a little log or something and then it was a fish <laughs> <laughs> folks the gopro died literally when i set the hook into that thing i'm pretty sure it did at least i have no clue what just happened there look at that dude he finally ate it this is probably what we've had biting it i mean these aren't the biggest bass of all time but oh, there we go, people. That's what I like to see right there. And I, I guess you guys didn't get to see that one on camera. I have no clue what happened with my GoPro. I guess we'll see when I edit this video. But uh, yeah, that's a pretty freaking decent little guy right there on the worm. We're gonna have to let him go. All right, where is the safest place for you to go, buddy? I think right here. See you, man. All right, folks, that's gonna do it for today's video. I mean, it was just super tough out here. I was out here for a few hours trying to catch these fish on the Bass Pro Lures, but that's what happens to ponds when it gets super cold outside, they get super tough to fish. But I'm glad that we caught three fish, had a few extra opportunities there as well on this worm especially i hope you guys saw that fish catch i have no clue what happened to my gopro but seriously guys thank you so much for watching if you made it to the end of the video please make sure you like because if you made it this far obviously you like the video and also if you guys could subscribe it helps me out a ton so please hit the subscribe button and the bell but yeah but anyways folks until the next fishing adventure fish bump i'm out of here